Driving your car on track can be incredibly taxing on your brakes. Chances are you're going to need to replace them frequently. Fortunately, this is an easy thing to do by yourself. Here's what you will need. You will need replacement rotors for both the front and the rear, and also replacement pads for the front and the rear. You will also need a 14 and a 17 millimeter socket, a socket wrench, a caliper spreader, penetrating fluid, a mallet, and a torque wrench. The first thing that you're going to want to do is loosen the lug nuts while the car is on the ground. I always forget to do this, so I'm always stuck with finding a creative solution with jamming the brake pedal closed because I can't be bothered to put the car back on the ground just to loosen the lug nuts. Once the lug nuts are loose, then you can put the car up on jack stands. I promise it's way easier if you do it that way than what I did here. Remove the lug nuts and take the wheel off of the car. Next we need to remove the slide pin bolts. Start with loosening the bottom one and then loosen the top one before you remove the bottom one so that it's easier to get them both loose. With both slide pin bolts loose, remove the bottom one and swing the caliper upward. This will give you access to the brake pads. Remove them both and then swing the caliper back down. Now hold the caliper in place and carefully remove the top slide pin bolt. The caliper will then come free and you can set it on top of the dust shield out of the way from where you're working. Next we need to remove the caliper bracket. Same as with the caliper itself, we need to remove the bottom bolt first and then the top bolt so that it doesn't swing down. With the caliper bracket out of the way, now we get to remove the brake disc. With the extreme amount of heat that the brake discs are subject to, it's very common for them to be frozen onto the hub. There are a number of methods that you can use to remove this, from just mallets, to penetrating oil, to using a threaded caliper pusher. Thankfully, your car already comes with one. First, apply the penetrating oil very generously and then open the trunk of your car and remove the top mat. Move the styrofoam piece off of the spare tire and unscrew the tire retainer in the center of the spare tire. The tire retainer happens to have the exact same pitch and width that is required to push the discs off of the hub, so it can double as that tool. Using a combination of this tool, the penetrating fluid, and some percussive encouragement from the mallet, you should be able to get the disc to come free from the hub. Once the old disc is loose, set it to the side and put the new disc in its place. Now 
now we need to mount the caliper bracket again. Tighten the caliper bracket bolts and then torque them down to 59 foot-pound of torque using the torque wrench. Next, fit your replacement brake pads into the caliper bracket. Slide them against the disc and make sure that they are all the way against it. Now go into your engine bay and take the cap off of your brake fluid reservoir. Stand the caliper upright and take an old brake pad and set it on top of the pistons. Take the caliper spreader and push it against the old brake pad to push the pistons open again. You'll want to continue pushing the pistons down until the caliper is spread all the way open to make sure that it clears the new brake pads. Once that's done, gently slide the caliper over the new brake pads and line it up with the slide pins. Thread the slide pin bolts hand tight and then torque them to 19 foot pounds using the torque wrench. Repeat these steps for the rest of your brakes all around your car. Once you put the car back on the ground, make sure to not forget to torque the lug nuts properly to make sure that the brake discs fit between the calipers like they're supposed to.